guys want to see something cool? This is our automatic feed system. I push a button and this system makes feed all by itself. This is how this bad boy works. Each one of these big plywood containers is a grain silo, right? It's just a big hopper. And each one contains a different ingredient because most of your feeds have, you know, four or five bulk ingredients. So each one of these holds a different ingredient. The one on the left there, the short one, holds barley. Next to it is wheat. And then corn's in the next one and then peas in the next one. You can switch these out however you want. So you have soy in some, you could have you know, oats or whatever. And then each one of these bins has, goes down to a, a, a central auger at the bottom. That's what this thing is. There's an auger underneath there, and it's hooked up to a DC motor, right, with a motor controller there. And all of those, all of those uh, motor controllers are then hooked into the controller there, the main controller. So when you're making feed, you got a whole bunch of different ingredients in there that are all different ratios, right? And what this thing does is it controls the speeds of those different motors uh, for different rations. So with broilers, it's going to have different speeds for different ones. And so, and then layer, we can do layer feed with this. We can make uh, hog feed, uh, rabbit, dairy, right? And so we got all these different ingredients in there, different rations. And so that, that just means those different motors turn at different speeds. When we press that button, it starts pulling material out, you know, some barley out of this one, and it drops into the uh, conveyor auger there, and that pushes all the ingredients up and up and over and into our hammer mill. So we've got a John Deere hammer mill hooked up with 240. The reason uh, we built this, because uh, my brother and I built this, is uh, because we were buying feed from local feed mills and we weren't really satisfied. You either had good quality feed at too high of a price and uh, we weren't making money, or we got bad feed, you know, it was a lower quality feed and at a lower price, and we still weren't making money because the animals weren't putting on weight. And so we decided, okay, we're going to forget that, we're going to make our own feed. So. Uh, fr a farmer that I know, a friend of mine, he's got his own feed set up, and so we were making feed with him, and it would take all afternoon to make a ton of feed, right? Because he had to haul all these different bags out. He had to have buckets and weigh stuff and, and dump it in the grinder and mix it. And, and yeah, you'd make a ton of feed and it took all afternoon. And so I said, okay, there's got to be a better way. And I said, okay, what's the simplest way that we could do this and, and have it all automated, right? And so we set this up, and this is, is the result. And because this What's great about this system is it stores the grain for you in all the different silos, right? And then it handles it for you, so it's moving it for you. You not have to you know, use uh, buckets or you know uh, expensive forklifts or tractors or anything like that. It's all there, and it mixes it for you, and you can change for whatever ration you're going to make, and. You don't have to do it in big batches. Before, we'd make, you know, a couple tons of feed, and then, you know, maybe the animals needed more, and you have to go back and make an extra ton, or maybe they didn't need all that much, and so you'd have an extra half a ton left over, and so you're spending money making an expensive feed that then, you know, goes to the pigs or, or the chickens eat it, and it's not effectively used. With this, we make just the right amount for the animals. There's no waste, all right? It's very clean, very simple, and we get to use uh, local ingredients, and, and uh, source everything non-GMO just the way we want, all right? We know it's in our feed, and we can control it. It's a great system.